Although we do have Jalen Brunson questionable, it looks like the Knicks visit the Chicago Bulls. Bulls four point four point favorites. The total sitting at two twenty five. Uh, the money line minus one seventy five. Again, looking at the injury report, I don't see anything too serious for the Chicago Bulls. But again, for the New York Knicks, their lead guard Brunson now currently listed as questionable. You like a side in this one, Ski? I do, and you know, I think you have a much better chance of the Chicago guys going. I don't think Brunson is going to play at all. I mean, you see. The Instagram picture or whatever they posted with those Knicks guys, you have two guys in, in that picture in a boot. One of them is definitely out, Obi Toppin, and I'd be surprised to see Brunson on the court um, tonight. And even if he does go, you know, fresh out of a boot, how effective will he be? So New York Knicks offense without Brunson out there, they're going to struggle. They're already bottom 10 in the last five games. It's just hard to see where they're going to get these points from. Um, they're the worst team in the league defending the three, so they can't take advantage of the um, Bulls bad three point defense, and other than that, I mean, last five games, something Chicago's been doing at least better lately. They're top five defensive rated team, so I like that. The main reason I even started to look at this game, it was like Knicks have been winning, they won what four games in a row, and um, they're they have a winning record. The Bulls don't, but the Bulls are the favorite, so obviously, it's for a reason. I think it's mainly that Brunson injury, and every game that Chicago has won. Um, so far this season has been by four or more points. So I, I think it all lines up for me to take the Bulls here. Yeah, it makes a ton of sense to me. How are you looking at this game, Josh? Yeah, I think I lean towards an under here, and I still might get involved in that, especially if Brunson is out. Like Ski said, the, the offense for the Knicks, if you take him off the floor, is not being good. I think it's they're about plus seven and a half points per 100 possessions, better when he's on the floor. But uh, the big thing as well defensively is how much better they are when Brunson is not on the floor. Um, you know, they are minus 10, or rather opponents are plus 10 points per 100 possessions when Brunson's on the floor, which is one of the worst efficiencies in the league right now. And I don't necessarily think he's a bad defender. I think, you know, it's more just what the other guys bring to the table and how it changes their schemes and looks a little bit there. So the Knicks, you know, I, I do think that, Catching four, if they have Brunson, is going to be too many points. But, uh, you know, without him, it, it's really hard to sort of quantify because he is, I think, worth more than what he is to the spread. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I do lean towards the under. I might still get involved in that one. Uh, you know, and, and again, like he said, these are two teams who can't exactly take advantage of the perimeter weaknesses defensively of each other's team. So a lot of two-pointers, less three-pointers. With a total like this, there's only one way I would play it. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. So Josh leads towards the under, but Ski is going to lay the points here with the Bulls. Chicago minus four tonight, again, hosting the New York Knicks. 